Hey guys, it's me Derek and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to try something a little bit different. Something a little bit more experimental than my usual videos. And what I wanted to do is show off my favorite cards that I own currently uh, within my binder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off my binder. And the camera is going to be a little weird because it's like I said, it's an experiment. And hopefully in the future, whenever we do this again, uh, it'll look a whole lot better. But what I wanted to do is take a look at everything and show you my top 10 cards in my collection. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's open up the binder and I'll show you some of my favorite cards. And we're starting with this. Now, this card right here uh, has a little special place in my heart because this is the first pack I've opened since uh, I was in middle school. So I opened up my first pack and this was in it. And I didn't know for sure if what it was worth. And honestly, whenever I first grabbed it, I just, you know, I was new to Pokemon again. And it was the first time I've played Pokemon since uh, middle school. And I pulled this, and I was actually going to trade it for m more packs. And then I looked up what it's worth and everything. I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep this. And this is the card that got me started back into Pokemon collecting um, the whole binder and everything. So that's one of my favorites. And we'll keep on going. I'm going to try to make it not all Charizards, but... Be aware, there are a lot of Charizards in this, but I, I, I'll try not to be super. There's actually a couple on this pa these pages here, but I'll show you this one. Uh, this took, takes me back whenever the original first movie came out. It was Mewtwo Strikes Back, which you can actually check out the remake on Netflix. Um, whenever you went to the, see the movie, uh, they gave you a promo card, and that was the promo card that you know, I, there for a long time, the Ancient Mew was this basically this talked about card that people didn't know really ex existed, and um, it was like a legendary card. That that was when I was in middle school. That's what it felt to me. I thought it was like one of the holy grails of Pokemon cards at that time. But here's another one of my favorites, Alakazam EX. Now we're gonna see a trend. These are my favorite Pokemon, um, and I'll, I'll tell you, uh, it's Alakazam, Gengar, Cyndaquil, Mew, Mewtwo, and Lugia. Those are my favorite Pokemon, but I, I love Alakazam. Um, I actually have a tattoo with all my favorite Pokemon, except for Cyndaquil and Lugia. I have, I'll have to show that off one day, um, but there we go. Let's keep on going. So that's three. How are you guys, uh, how are, how's your collection so far? Oh, yeah, by the way, I, I, I have that. <laughs> that's, that's the, um, Evolutions one, not the base set, but I, I, I like that card, but it's not my favorite card. But this is one of my favorites. And this is from, came from the very first booster box I opened for, uh, Darkness Ablaze, and it was the first pack that I opened and we got this baby. And there there are so many versions of this card coming out. In Japan, the Shining Star V comes out and it's gonna be a shiny version, shiny rainbow version of that card in particular. Uh, I, I know I said I'm not gonna make it all Charizard, but there's a lot of Charizards and they like them. Let's go ahead to the next card here. Now this one, this one's really cool. Now, I, I like the Amazing Rares. I've opened up three of the Legendary Heartbeat boxes, and I have three Amazing Rares from the Japanese version. So I'm kind of excited about opening up a, uh American version just because, you know, I, I would like to have the American Amazing Rares, but I'm not really that interested in them. But the one, this is my favorite out of the three I own, and the one I really want is Celebi, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping to pull a Celebi in the American set. That way, you know, my I, I don't have to worry about it. But Shining Star V that comes out later this month, they're introducing some more amazing rares. So that's something I'm going to be showing you guys whenever that set comes out. And I do have it pre-ordered. I have a few boxes of it. And I'm excited to show you guys what we have. So we're going to keep on going on. And, you know... I've opened up a lot of Champion's Path to get to this point. So, 
this is another one of my favorites. Um, this came from some of the first uh, Hidden Fates that I opened this year um, from one of the pins that I opened, and it's a shiny ho. I, I'm a sucker for the legendaries, like especially the birds, and uh, this is probably one of my favorites. Um, I, I pulled that from a Ryushu tin. This was a month or so ago, but yeah, this that's one of my favorites. Um, I, I'd like to try to get the other ones uh, in that set, but that set is expensive, and I don't have the money for that set, <laughs> so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my time trying. And here we go. I can't help but love this card. Now this comes from Astonishing Bolt Tackle, which will be a part of the Vivid Voltage set whenever that comes out. I know people are already opening Vivid Volt Voltage up right now, and Everybody wants the Chunky Chew. I have two of these. I actually opened it up another one uh, a couple of videos ago. I was pretty excited about it. Uh, I I like the Rainbow Rare version, but I don't like it as much as I like that version. And the reason why is just because you have more detail in this, and the more color, the more detail, and everything like that. And I, I really enjoy that card. So let's keep on going. Oh, yeah, these are all the promos. Some of the promos from the movies. Uh, first movie, a Dragonite. Uh, Elect Buzz. We got the Mew, Mew Mewtwo, and Mew, and all the legendary birds. I, as you can tell, I really like Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, here's, so, uh, here we go. Gengar and Mew. All right, let's keep going here. We got a few more left to go. Actually, here we go. This is one of my favorites as well. Now, this card is not really huge. It's not a big card. It's something that I like. It came from many packs of Champion's Path. I really like Incineroar. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, actually, I have his Amiibo right here. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I sent, I, I'm a fan of Incineroar. Um, ever since they shown him off at the, uh, whenever they introduced Sun and Moon, I think that's Sun and Moon he was in, uh, but yeah, Incineroar, awesome. You don't see a lot of Incineroar cards, honestly. I'd like to see a VMAX if it exists. I don't know if it exists or not. I haven't really, oh, oh, okay. Okay, guys, now, yeah. But anyways, before we get to this card, um, <laughs> I don't I wish there was a VMAX uh, Cineroar. I don't know if that exists yet. I'm going to have to look into it. I don't really keep up too much on the cards. And whenever a new set comes out, I just keep it as a surprise. I don't really try to look at what's coming out until it comes out. And I'll see, you know, after I open up a few packs or ETB or something like that, I'll know what to look for. But this baby, this is special. This is something... I tried it. took eight ATVs to open this. And the last, uh, one of the last Champions Path uh, <laughs> unboxings we had, the first pack, this was in it. And I had a, uh, a mini freakout session there. It, it's a cool card. It's highly sought after. Um, and it meant a lot to me because I, like, like I say, you can go back and take a look at all the uh, <laughs> Champions Pass stuff we opened up, and it's it's stupid, stupid amount. Have another Chonky Chew. I, like I said, I had another Chonky Chew. And here we go again. Another Charizard, and I can't help it. I'm sorry. This came from a Meowth, um, a Meowth set, the VMAX Meowth set. And we actually opened that on stream, not stream, but one of our videos as well. And this is a pretty cool card. I'm. This is one of the cards. Like, I'm not. This is why I. I'm not caring much for evolutions anymore. Just the fact that I have the cards I wanted from evolutions, and most of them's Charizards. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Okay. Let's just be honest. All right. So here we go. This is another one of my favorites. Actually, I two. It's a two four. All right. This is my favorite Mewtwo card ever the art on it is amazing it's just 
it's beautiful. It's probably it's it's one of my favorite Pokemon cards in general. Uh, it's got a lot of detail. Um, the other Pokemon with Mewtwo is just oh God. I, I I can nerd out on this card alone, which brings me to my next Mewtwo uh, on the on the same area of the binder. Let me get her out. Not her. Okay, I think in some of the movies they made YouTube Mewtwo a her, but I'm not 100% sure. But here's my Mewtwo GX. Absolutely love this card. All right, like I said, I'm a Mewtwo Mew, Mer, Mew nerd. And I, I try to collect all the Mews and Mewtwo's, like even if they're not um, worth a lot, but I do try to collect them. And all right, we have a couple more, and it is, yeah, here we go. This is from uh, Evolutions as well. This is Venusaur EX, and I really enjoy this card. I just opened it. I opened this from one of the uh, the Pokeballs, and I happened to have a uh, Burning Shadows, which we got a Guzma from. I think Guzma came from Burning Shadows. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, we have Venusaur. Uh, the only one I need now is Blastoise. Okay, so that's the end of the binder. Um, I'm not sure if it's 10 cards or not. I lost count. I have a memory of a goldfish, and I kid you not, I forget everything. So if, I, if I'm if i under 10, let me know. <laughs> and maybe I could do a video and show off the other card that I uh, am missing, but I think we got at 10. Um, it's my fault for not counting. But anyways, those are my favorite cards currently from that set. From all kinds of different sets. And like I said, I just started back playing, uh, well, collecting Pokemon cards this year. Uh, about, in, about in May is whenever I started. And we have a whole lot of stuff planned later on with new unboxings. Like we have Shining Star V coming out. Uh, there's a special set. Uh, it's got the three starters, the original starter, all their uh, VMAX versions. Those, will, I'll show you guys that as well. And next year, there's some more sets coming out. We have the 25th anniversary coming out. And there'll be more, more and more added to the binder. Um, I have a second binder just full of just regular hollows and reverse hollow rares. And there's some cards in there I like. But obviously, I want to showcase my special cards. And I hope that you guys like this video. And kind of like what I did there with with the camera angle i know it's kind of janky right now and i promise you later on as the channel grows and whenever i you know i get a new place and stuff we'll do a setup and we'll make things a whole lot better i definitely want to earn your subscription your follows and you know i i appreciate every single person that watches if there's only one person that watches thank you so much and i appreciate it I'll see you guys soon with more unboxings. Uh, tonight, we're going to start Pokemon Sword on the stream. So head over to twitch.com forward slash bits and pieces PT to check that out. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.